Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to start with the, the new topic which is a bus and memory transfer. So let's start. Uh, so a digital system composed of many registers and path must be provided to transfer the information from one registers to another. The number of wires connecting all the registers will be excessive if separate lines are used between each registers and all other registers in the system. So let's understand this with one example. So suppose in the C language we are transferring data uh, like B is equals to C means the data of C. The value of C is replaced in the variable B. Same as in the registers we are using the replacement operator to replace the data of register 1 into the register 2. Yes. So this is the basic transferring concept of register. Now suppose uh, there is a 8 bit register. Yes. This two are 8 bit registers and this is a suppose this is a register R1 and this is register R2 okay now if you if you want to execute this statement then the data of R1 will be transferred into the register 2 but how it can be possible so for that we already know the 0th bit is transferred uh, into next registers of 0th bit same as 1 bit is transferred in the first bits of register 2 yes so for that we we require the connection between each and every bits so we require the connection from first uh, bit to first bit in the register 2 then second bits of register 1 to register 2 uh, so on so this is how we require the uh, more connections in the registers this is a 8 bit register so we can do it easily suppose we have a 64 bit or 128 bits of registers so for that uh, it requires many connection and in the computer system there are many registers available and uh, register 1 is uh, not only connected to that register 2 but it is also connected to other registers also and for that uh, we requires cables to establish the connection between each and every registers so uh, as we can see this the system is very complex in the registers because suppose there are 99 registers in the system so register 1 needs to connect rest of the 98 registers in the system it requires very large amount of cables and th this system becomes very complex because it requires a very large amount of cables so it is a very expensive so to overcome this issue uh, the bus system schemes in to transfer the data in less expense so here the bus structures on the other hand is a more efficient for transferring information between registers in a multi-register configuration system okay now i hope you are clear that what is the disadvantage of register disadvantage of register is it is very expensive why because it requires the more connection it requires the connection between each and every bits and each and every registers in the system so it becomes very complex and it is a very expensive so that is the disadvantage of register so that is why the new uh, system is introduced to overcome this issue which is a bus structure so let's understand what is a bus structure and how it is implemented so we can implement the bus system via two approaches the first is using multiplexer and second is using a tri-state buffer. But in this video lecture, uh, we'll understand how we can implement the bus system with the multiplexer. But uh, before we'll start, uh, let's understand what is actually bus is and how it, how it is used in the computer system. So let's understand it with an example. So you can think of computer bus like a public transportation or a school buses. So these types of buses are capable of transporting people from one destination to another destination. Yes, from one location to another location. Like this, the buses are the computer buses transmit data from one location or one device to another location or another devices. So here in our example, we have seen that bus is the medium. By using this, we can travel from one destination to another. So the role of computer bus is same as the a bus that uh, we are using in our day-to-day -day life so computer bus are the medium 
and uh, the data is transferred from one register to another registers via bus so it is a intermediate between the registers so that is how bus is uh, worked now let's understand how bus is implemented using the multiplexer so first uh, we'll understand if you need to transfer the content of register c to register 1 then it can be represented as like this register c then replacement operator and register r1 this, this is how we can represent it but how it can be possible how it can be transferred via the bus so the first step is the data of register c first transferred into the bus and then second step is the data of register C that is on the bus that is transferred then register R1. So this is the sequence that first data of register C is transferred to bus and then bus transfer this data to register 1. So this is so direct way we can represent it like the data of register C is successfully transferred to register 1. So this is how the bus is the intermediate of registers to transfer the data. So this is the implementations of bus system for the registers. Yes. So here there are four registers. Register A, B, C, D, and these are the four bit registers. So each register had the four has the four bits, which is a zero, one, two, and three. So these are the four bits in the register. So each and every register has the same bits in it. Now register wants to transfer the data using the multiplexers. So here we are using these uh, four multiplexers. Now the first question arises how many multiplexer we required. So that is depends on the number of bits in the register. Here the number of bits in the register is the four. So that is why we are using the four multiplexers. Suppose the number of bits in the registers is eight. So for that we require eight multiplexers. Okay. Now we uh, we take on the four multiplexers and the four registers now the concept of the multiplexer is suppose this is a multiplexer so uh, and this is a four cross one multiplexer the four cross one multiplexer means there are four inputs and one output and there are two select lines which is s0 and s1 okay because the uh, input is 4 that is why the select line is 2 if input is uh, 8 then the select line is 4 yes and this is the concept of multiplexer that you have already learned in your previous semester now uh, how it is works suppose the select line is 0 0 then the first suppose this is a 0 1 2 and 3 okay so suppose the select line is 0 0 the number of weights we are providing to the select line is 0 0 then it generates the 0th output suppose it is a 0 1 then it generates the first bit output then if it is a 1 0 then it generates this third output and if it is a 1 1 then it generates this fourth output so this is how the multiplexer is work it generates the output based on its uh, select input okay now when we are started implementing the bus system at that time the inputs now let's uh, generate the inputs here the zero the name of the register is a so here uh, here is the four outputs of that register which is a0 a1 a2 and a3 okay same as B0, B1, B2, B3, C0, C1, C2, C3 and D0, D1, D2, D3. Okay. Same as multiplexer has uh, four inputs uh, which is A0, B0, C0, D0. Same as A1, B1, D1, C1, C1, D1, A2, B2, C2, D2 and uh, here is a A3, B3. C3 and D3 so these are the inputs now how it is transferred so here the first input is the zeroth input so this is given to the multiplexer 1 the zeroth 
input of register B is also given to the first uh, multiplexer 0. Zeroth input of register C is also given to, uh, to multiplexer 0. And zeroth input of register D is also given to the here multiplexer 0. Same as the first input of register 1 is given to the multiplexer 1. First input of register B is given to multiplexer 1. First input of register C is given to the multiplexer 1. And uh, the first input which is the D1 which is given to the multiplexer 1. Same as the second input is given to multiplexer 2. And all the third inputs as shown in this figure. So as shown in this figure you can see that the last input is a uh, third bit. And it is given to the multiplexer 3. Then third bit of register B is given to the multiplexer 3. Third bit of register C is given to the multiplexer 3 and the third bit of register D is given to the multiplexer 3. Now how data is transferred? When we are uh, providing the connection and then we are given the input to the select line. Suppose we are giving the input as 0 and S1 is equals to 0, 0. So when we are giving the input 0, 0 at that time multiplexer generate the 0th input yes it means that it selects a 0th input from multiplexer 1 which is a, a 0 so it generates a 0 here then the 0th input of multiplexer 1 is a 1 so it generates the output a 1 then 0th input the 0th input of multiplexer 3 is a 2 so it generates a 2 here and the 0th input of multiplexer 3 which is a A3 so it generates the output as a A3. So as you can see that A0, A1, A2 and A3 are the bits of register A. So we can say that it is complete register A. So when the selection line is 0, 0 at that time it generates the register A or the it generates the data of register A. Suppose we are providing the selection line 0, 1. So at that time it select the input of the first bit. So first it select the input of uh, 0th multiplexer and the uh, first bit of the 0th multiplexer is B0. Then the first bits of multiplexer 1 is B1. Then the first bits of multiplexer 2 is B2. And the first bits of the multiplexer 1 is a B3. So it generates B0, B1, B2, B3. So at that time it generates the uh, data of multi uh, register B. Same as if we provide a uh, selection line as 1, 0 at that time it generates register C and when we provide 1, 1 at that time the, it generates the data of register D. Okay, so this is how the data is transferred from register to the bus. Now suppose the selection line is 0, 0 at that time the data of register A is transferred on the bus. Yes, this data A0, A1, A2, A3. Suppose the A0 contained 1, A1 contained 0, A2 contained 0 and A3 contained 1. So 1, 0, 0, 1 is a binary bit that is now transferred on the bus. Yes. So now the bus consists of 4 cross 1 multiplexer with 4 inputs and 1 outputs and register with bits number of 0 to 3. Now as I said that the number of multiplexer is depends on the number of bits in the register. So here the number of bits is the 4 so that is why we are considering 4 multiplexers and how we can calculate that we require 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So that is depends on the number of registers. Here the number of registers is a 4. That is why we are uh, taking the 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Suppose number of register is a 6. So at that time we are taking 6 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay. So now two things we need to remember is number of multiplexer is equal to number of bits in the register. And the number of input in the multiplexer, it depends on number of registers. There are two select lines S0 and S1 which are connected to the select input of the multiplexer. The output 1 of the register A is connected to input 0 of multiplexer 1. 
and similarly other connections are made as shown in the diagram that I already explained to you. The data transfer to the bus depends upon the select line. A table for the various combination of select line is shown below. So that I already explained that when the select line is 0, 0 at that time the multiplexer generates the output of register A. When the select line is 0, 1 at that time it generates register B. When the select line is 10 at that time it generates the output of register C and uh, when the select line is 11 at that time the data of register D is transferred to the bus. So this is how uh, the data is transferred based on the select lines that we have already seen that how the data of each and every register is transferred on the bus based on the select lines. Okay. So as we can see that when S1, S0 is equals to 00, 0 a register A is selected because on 00, 0 the zeroth data inputs of all the multiplexers are applied to the common bus. Yes, as we can see that when this uh, input is 00, 0 at that time zeroth bits of data is selected of multiplexer. So zeroth bit of data is A0, A1, B, A2 and A3. Now since the zero data inputs of all the multiplexer receives the input from the register A, thus the register A gets selected. Similarly for other combinations of select line S1 and S0, other registers are selected. Okay. So this is the concept and this is the important thing we need to remember is number of multiplexer needed is equals to number of bits in the each register and the second thing we need to uh, remember is number of inputs in the number of input in the multiplexer it depends on number of register so that is uh, the all about how we can implement the bus system using the multiplexer so for that these two things needs to be remembered that number of multiplexer required is equals to number of bits in the registers and number of inputs in the multiplexer is depends on the number of registers. Suppose there are 5 registers so at that time the input is 5 cross 1 and suppose the bits are 5 so at that time 5 multiplexers is required. And Based on the selection line, based on the input of the selection line, the data of register is transferred on the bus. Now data is on the bus. Okay. As I said that the 1001 is a data of register 1 and that is on the bus. That is on the bus. Now we can assume that now our data is transferred on the bus. Now if we want to transfer this data on the register 1 then bus can easily transmit this data to the register 1. So this is how we can transfer the data to reg register 1 to register 2 very easily and this is a less expensive and it is not that much complex than the register system. So that is all about bus system using multiplexer.